Welcome to the Eric Avisar Show. Virginia Tech played what was essentially a de facto scrimmage against Rhode Island yesterday in Lane Stadium, and the Hokies pulled out a 34-17 win. If you are not aware, for FBS football programs like Virginia Tech, only one FCS win can count towards bowl eligibility. And since Virginia Tech had already beaten Furman earlier this season, this win against Rhode Island does not count towards bowl eligibility. So the Hokies still need three more wins to preserve the country's longest active bowl streak. There was a lot to be concerned about from this performance, but we can start with the positives. Hendon Hooker has proven that he is a no-brainer for the Hokies at quarterback. Yes, he still has accuracy issues, and of course he needs to get better, but he went 16 of 27 with three touchdown passes and no turnovers for the second week in a row. He is not going to make those idiotic and horrible mistakes Ryan Willis made time after time, and he's going to continue to get better. He can be an absolutely devastating runner, and we all know that Virginia Tech is a program that traditionally thrives with mobile quarterbacks, so Hendon Hooker is certainly the man to lead the Virginia Tech offense forward. Deshaun McLeese was absolutely outstanding yesterday. He ran for 124 yards on just 12 carries with a touchdown to boot. I mean, he carved up that Rams defense, and he showed great elusiveness, the ability to break tackles. It was just a joy to watch. And having a solid running game could help the Hokies so much because not only will it make the offense better, it will keep the unstable defense off the field. If the defense spends too much time on the field, that could end up really blowing up in Virginia Tech's face. So a running game that is productive, that is efficient, can really help avoid some of those problems. And while Kishon King is still the more talented back, hey, if McLeese is going to keep this up, give him the rock. And in terms of the struggles of yesterday, we have to start off, of course, with the defense and the pass defense. The secondary was absolutely carved up by Rhode Island's Isaiah Coulter. Number eight was a monster, over 150 yards receiving, still way, way, way too many missed tackles. And the lunch pail defense is really struggling. It's a tough final year for Bud Foster. There's no way to sugarcoat that. You just hope that the Hokies can send him off right. Rayshard Ashby has really been the engine, the glue of this defense, as guys like Reggie Floyd, who was ejected for a targeting penalty, will have to miss the first half of next week's game, and Dax Hollyfield uh, continue to struggle. So you really hope to see the defense pull it in just a little bit better, but I mean, the real difference between this game being a blowout like it should have been and it being close was the red zone offense. The Hokies did not get it done in the red zone, had to kick two really short field goals. And if you have two more touchdowns, look, that's a 28 point win. Totally different viewpoint towards this victory. But Damon Hazleton, while he had an absolutely spectacular catch and run for a touchdown, one of his two touchdown grabs and had over 90 yards receiving. He dropped some unacceptable uh, passes in terms of just not reeling it in. Easy catches did not bring him in, and that was just really difficult to see. I wonder if there's some sort of combination of health or focus issues he's going on right now because he has to get it together if he wants to be playing on Sundays. And there's no question that Damon Hazleton is talented enough to play in the NFL. It's such a strong receiving core, especially when Trey Turner gets back. Tavion Robinson, such a talented true freshman. James Mitchell, very solid uh, as well. So look, there is no shortage of weapons for the Hokie offense this season. Now, at the end of the day, beating a really bad Rhode Island team that was way smaller, was one in four coming into this game, and is winless in the CAA, in an FCS uh, division, it's just, it's, uh, it's not a good look. It's a terrible look. But it's, like I said, a scrimmage. So as long as the Hokies can learn and build from this, it could still keep hope alive for making a bowl game. That's really all you can hope for at this point from the Hokies. And you certainly want to see better home support from the Lane Stadium crowd. Seeing the North End Zone in the second half was absolutely heartbreaking. This football team certainly deserves better fan support. 
I really hope to see that next weekend against UNC. Thank you so much for tuning in and please subscribe to my channel.